So I took this video to show you all around the 7-Eleven out front of my condo. I was going to narrate a little bit to tell you some of the differences between this and one in the U.S. Yeah, there's a bunch of ice cream. There's a tropical, a tropical country, but what they didn't have as much of, and they don't in the grocery either, is there's not a ton of soft drinks. There's not a ton of slushies, but there is a bunch of cooking food here. There's seasonings and spicings, spices. There's all these Indian spices right by the front entrance. And as you'll see as it progresses through here in this store, there's more and more cooking stuff. And the 7-Elevens vary in sizes and there's different things in all the different stores. So it's worth it to go in them. And the funny thing about this is you see, look at this wall of Chinese spices right here that you can... There's some fresh food here. You can create your own legit food meal and you will see what I have my eyes on here. If I was going to make something from scratch, scratch with quotation marks around it, you can grab this hot pot packets right here and you can extremely enhance it with all these fresh spices and seasonings. If I was more skilled and knew what I was doing, you could use the Indian and Chinese spices and make like a big time hybrid. There's a wall of soy sauce and other seasonings and there's rendang paste and everything here. Oh, there's so much cooking stuff. It's not just like chips and candy like in the in the US ones. It's way different. Look at all these soy sauces here. It's amazing. There's coconut milk and there's bags of, of rice and everything. And you'll see what I came here to acquire. No, I didn't uh, get a brewski this time. They got the candy bars in the refrigerator. That's a solid move. Now, as you see, I had snagged something I was looking to score. I'm gonna see me with my meat hooves over here. And there's the wall with the chips, but it's not nearly as many chips selection as there would be in a typical United States store of this magnitude. Half the store would be chips. I'm not exaggerating on that. And we go in here for the soft drink. Why not? Yum. But as you all see, eventually when I get closer to the front counter, there is some fresh food here. Now, I didn't have it filmed on here, but I got some fresh kimchi. And I opened it today and ate half the packet, and it was unbelievable how good it is. And I'm not saying that to enhance the video. It's phenomenal. But as you see up here, there's some fresh, fresh vegetables over here in the corner. It's the perfect things to add to if I was to get that hot pot mix to have that and there's dumplings to add to it and there's also over here in this other this other refrigerator freezer there's sliced meat for hot pot and stir fries there's good stuff in here so that is mind blowing you could have an amazing hot pot so here we're at Plaza Singapore because it's a major MRT interchange. And you're going to see one of our new best friends, the Instant Coffee, because I would venture to say that this is probably the wave of the future. And it's a pretty uh, aesthetically pleasing way to get your coffee when you have the robot doing it for you. It's mesmerizing. Shockingly, we're the only people getting it done at this time. But we've seen this thing before and uh, draw crowds of attention. And honestly, the coffee was really good. The flavor was outstanding.
So something here like I've never seen anywhere else is uh, got to be looking good. Got to get my hair care on. Got to get some hair gel going. Got to get my style going. Got this right out of the dispenser. So I don't know if this is more wave of the future stuff here, but our library, everything's totally automated. Where I just scan my card and you just place your books directly on the tray and it scans the book for you and tells you how long you have to check it out. And I don't need to talk to anybody and I don't need any clerks to wait on me. And it gets handled right there, right there on the spot. And I'm good to go with my books. It's more automation here, more wave of the future.